Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll demonstrate you smart holiday lights with the open source software Home Assistant. This is an affordable low cost solution that you can easily scale for your whole house. It is very practical and convenient for holidays such as Christmas or Halloween. You can control the LEDs from your smartphone, personal computer or a tablet. No cloud is required, everything is self-hosted, it's running on your computer and you have full control and security for it. From software perspective, the backbone of this solution is the open source home automation platform Home Assistant. It puts local control and privacy first. You can install it on a Raspberry Pi or a similar single board computer. The hardware used in this demonstration includes Aravi Miracle Controller, a couple of Olimax WS2811 LED ropes, 5 volt power supply and Raspberry Pi on which Home Assistant is running. Olimax offers these addressable waterproof seal with raisin RGB LED ropes. They are available in different sizes. For this demonstration, I'm using an LED rope from Olimax with 10 addressable LEDs. There is a dedicated WS2811 driver for each LED in the rope. The size of the LED is 8 mm. You have the ability to control the color and the brightness of each LED independently. The specific LED rope works with power supply from 3.3 volts up to 5.5 volts. In the particular example, I'm using an appropriate power supply at 5 volts that is powering both the LED as well as the development board that is controlling it. There are numerous ways how to control LEDs like those. In the particular case, I'm using an open source hardware development board that I have designed using the free and open source software KiCad. It is called Anavi Miracle Controller. It connects to your local Wi-Fi network and can simultaneously control two addressable LED strips or as in this case, addressable LED ropes. Anavi Miracle Controller is powered by the popular Wi-Fi microcontroller ESP8266 and an Arduino Sketch as a default firmware. Out of the box, the default firmware works with Home Assistant over the popular machine-to-machine -machine protocol MQTT. Furthermore, you can attach peripheral devices such as a mini OLED display and various sensors to Anavi Miracle Controller. Anavi Miracle Controller relies on the popular Arduino library FastLED, which is compatible with various addressable LED strips. In this particular demonstration, we are using Olimax WS2811 LED ropes. Anavi Miracle Controller has a dedicated terminal for attaching the LEDs. In this particular case, we are using short LED ropes, which does not consume a lot of energy. Therefore, I have wired them directly to Anavi Miracle Controller. If you are scaling the solution with a longer LED strip that requires more power, please, it's very important to apply a different wiring and to power it directly from the power source. On first boot, you have to configure Anavi Miracle Controller. To connect it to your Wi-Fi network, select the appropriate LED type of the strips that you are using and connect it to your instance of Home Assistant. I'm covering this in different videos. After verifying that everything works on my desk, I decided to put both LED ropes on a window. This is just a quick demonstration to show you that everything works. 
As you can see, Anobi Miracle Controller is sim simultaneously showing different animations on the attached LED ropes. Home Assistant offers a user-friendly mobile application which I'm using on Android. Additionally, you can directly do the same from the very user-friendly web interface of Home Assistant. I can turn on and off the LED strip, select a color or select an animation. During the animations, each LED has a different color and brightness. My favorite part is that Anavi Miracle Controller simultaneously controls two LED ropes, so on the left side I can have one animation and a different animation on the right side. This is just a proof of concept demonstration for the moment, so I have installed this on a single window. I really enjoy the result and as soon as the holiday seasons are around, I will scale this and put it around all rooms of my apartment. Olimax LED ropes are waterproofed, which means that I can even put them outside. That's cool, but how does it actually work? Home Assistant is running on a Raspberry Pi. Additionally, on the same Raspberry Pi, I have installed an MQTT broker, which is called Mosquito. It is free and open source software written in C that is lightweight and very fast. Using the machine to machine protocol MQTT, Anavi Miracle Controller connects to Home Assistant and exchange messages on various topics with JSON payload. This project combines open source hardware with free and open source software. Everything is available in GitHub repositories under open source licenses. The best part is that actually everything works out of the box because Home Assistant supports automatic discovery of devices over MQTT. Although the implementation is complicated, Actually, you don't need to be a tech whiz to set it up. Just follow the simple steps. No programming is required. Also, no soldering is required. With Anavi Miracle Controller, you can do the same setup using your bare hands and a screwdriver. Thank you for your attention. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and have a look for more details in the links in the description of the video.